Welcome to AI Content Creation. Today we're going to be looking at some uh, ChatGPT blogging prompts and uh, how you can create some really good blog posts um, with a little effort. So we're going to use uh, the AI PRM uh, app that has currently almost 1500 prompts in here and a lot of them of course are going to be article related for the longest time this one right here or um, outrank article was up here kind of ranked at the top but now we have some other ones that are kind of coming up um as well so we have this human written 100 percent unique seo optimized article but you want to stick around as well we're going to get started with this but while we're doing that um, i will also want to show you that we will be looking at a prompt that i created right here so you want to stick around for that this is a very in-depth very long prompt right here and process we'll be going and taking a look at that as well so let's go in here right now we're going to use this one it says it's up it's updated um, upgraded version right here so i'm going to click on it and we're going to just put in our title and today we're going to copy this keyword over here and come back in over here and we're going to paste that in and push uh, enter so it's going to go out there 10 best tents for a family camping and it's going to get started for us it's going to build out a table of contents and so forth now one of the issues with this so this is going to create a, a, what looks like a pretty dang good well-researched article but um the uniqueness of this when we go and test it out in originality.ai uh, uh, it may not um, pass very well all right so you can see it started writing we need to go ahead and push continue right here and this article it really is a looking really good uh, it's going to be hard to match this level of formatting um, in other ai content writers so i really do like that um, the uh, table of contents um, making this uh, you know a clickable table of contents we'll have to see because um, you know you're if you're going to publish this to wordpress you're probably going to need a table table of contents um, plugin and it would automatically add all of the h2s and h3s to it so um, you you may not really need this table of contents but it's nice that it's there um, and then you just come down here uh, you also could just literally, if you wanted to, not have the plugin installed and still put that so people can still see what it's going to, uh, what they're going to be reading. But um, it's not going to be clickable, right? So that's why you would need that plugin. So we're going to come down here. Um, it looks like it did about its 500 words. And then we have here's the FAQs. Um, I think we do need to push continue because it's going to write the FAQs and actually write the FAQs right here. So as you can see, it's going to go and answer. Um, I'm wondering if these questions um, over here, we go to Google, uh, which is the best family tent? Let's go and see uh, what is the best tent for family uh, for? Uh, can you recommend a family camping tent with separate rooms? Um, is that one over here? Uh, no. So it's not like gathering it. Obviously, it's not going to gather it in real time because ChatGPT is chat gpt does not have that like ability uh right now but let's go and see if it's done answering the five it looks like it did i don't know um we already have a conclusion so we've got our full-blown article i want to go and see how long this was going all the way to the top right click and check our word count so we've got a nice 1469 word uh, article pretty beefy um, in our first run that's pretty good um, there I don't have a whole lot of prompts that I've seen that will pull over a thousand word article without doing some pretty fancy uh, prompting so that is how you can do that I'm going to go up here and start a new chat and then what we're going to do is come over here to um, let's see to my um, prompt that I created, right? You're welcome to pause uh, the video and read through this, but we've got some pretty um, kind of some technical things going on here. We did create a pretty long prompt right here. I'm going to zoom in so we can read it a little bit better. So I have this blog post prompt for one K word blog post, add your main keyword right here. Um, and then we're going to go and it's just literally by steps right here. So let's get started. Let's go grab our keyword over here, 10 best tents. And I'm going to throw it in over here, um, to my prompt that I have saved over here in a Google doc. I'm going to right click and paste without formatting. 
we have our main keyword right there and we have our, basically that's our title as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in right here as well. So paste without formatting. So anything in green is anything that is what we need to do. The blog post title will be, so we can run through that prompt right there. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and start with step one and come back over here, chat GBT, and we're gonna throw that in and push enter. And then we just want it to, you know, chat GBT to understand that that's what we're going to be working on. And then I'm gonna take step two right here and we're going to go and prompt it again. This is prepped, uh, prepped prompting, prompting is what I would call it. And so I said, when it comes to writing content, two factors are crucial, perplexity and burstiness. You can read through this, but basically it's trying to tell ChatGBT to be more original, write more uh, like humans do, shorter sentences, longer complex sentences, and so forth, right? So, um, you know, ChatGBT agrees, or I mean, uh, says, yes, they understand um, how we want to write. And then we're gonna come through, through to step number three right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy step three, come back over here to uh, ChatGPT and paste that in. They understand um, that we want to write an article on 10 best tents for family camping. The post should be written in natural conversational way using first and second person language and include examples, case studies, and anecdotes to break up the content and make it more engaging. The goal is to create a post that sounds like it was written by a creative human while still incorporating the necessary search engine optimization techniques to rank. So we're, we're, we're asking a lot. And let's go through here into step number four. We're going to say, now give me 10 catchy SEO optimized blog titles. Now this is a part where step four, I'm actually going to um, put this in as optional. Because many times I, you know, once you get good at this, you will be able to title your articles very quickly. Um, a lot of times it's a long tail keyword you're going after. So you're going to probably keep the keyword, the main keyword, 10 best tents for family camping. That's a pretty solid, uh, you know, title. We might put something like, you know, um, must check out or uh, a complete guide or something like that. Of course you can put that in quotes. Um, but, um, we're gonna go over here and we're going to skip option four for this one because I already know what my title is. Uh, so we have our, um, we basically have our title set. And so I'm gonna come back and just put that in as this is our title right here. So I'm gonna paste that in. But if you don't have a title and you need help with uh, creating like a really good blog post title, then step four works really well, okay? So then now we're on step five. The blog post title will be 10 best tents for family camping. So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna grab our step five, go back into chat GPT real quick and push enter. And here is our outline. It is going to create our outline for us right now. And then what we'll do is we'll come into step six and we'll grab step six. And again, you can pause and see what I've done, but I'm not gonna bore you with reading that for you. But here we go, it's gonna take off and start writing for us. So right now it's going over just some of the essentials that you need to know about tents, um, what's gonna make a good family tent and so forth. And then now it's gonna go into the 10 best tents for family camping. The Coleman Weather Master, I believe earlier on the other chat um, was definitely was ranked at number one. So uh, it's finding that same one. We're gonna push continue. But now we are rocking and rolling with the uh, number two NTK Arizona GT nine to 10 person tent. Super cool. <clears throat> I even like how it gave us some bullets right there as well. And it's writing some really good description. So we're just gonna keep cruising through here. I'm not gonna make you, I'll just kind of fast forward through this. And it's still writing away. It would be done in just a minute. And we'll push the continue um, most likely for the last time. And there's our 10th item. Everything's still laid out uh, nicely the way uh, each item has nice bullet points and well des described. And we have our nice conclusion rounding it up. So now we can come up here and I'm going to go back over here. Uh, if we want to add some, uh, we can go back over to step seven. We'll go over that in just a minute. So basically I'm going to come back. And let's just go see where we're at right now. So I'm gonna scroll all the way up to where we started writing, which is right here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to word counter. And we have a almost 2000 word 
article that has been created, right? So this one I think is, is pretty darn good. Um, and I, I created this one from scratch, this prompt right here. I created this whole thing from scratch. Uh, now step seven, we can go over and grab just a couple of these right here. If we wanted to, you could answer those directly or you could have it rewrite, um, as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the, the prompt in the Google doc. We're going to highlight all those. We're going to right click paste without formatting. So now we're just going to answer these four. So I'm going to say step seven, I'm going to say, do not answer these yet. And I'm going to go and just say copy. Um, you could go and basically do this the way that you want. You can have it answer or not understood. And then finally we will go answer the questions to the best of your knowledge. And remember to keep in mind all the writing instructions before regarding unique, creative human white content. You can answer these questions briefly with just a few sentences each. These should also be in markdown format. Now I don't know, um, the more I'm learning about this, I don't know how far back the, um, you know, the conversation is going to go. I've had people tell me that it's not going to go back uh, more than probably this article. So it probably at this point, because this is so long, probably is going to forget all this stuff that I pre uh, prompted it for. Um, so you'll just have to look at the results that you get from this, right? So I'm going to paste this in and push enter. And it's going to just do the people also ask in a H2 and then which is the best family tent It's an H3. And you can see that it is going and answering these in just a couple sentences each. And we've got a really nice over 2000 word article. By the time we're done with it, we can copy this whole thing, come all the way to the top up here. We can copy that and we could go into a new Google doc real quick. Let me just go open one up and we could paste this in. I'm going to leave it in its H2 formatting, uh, paste like that, uh, because we do have, um, so this is some of the stuff that's going on in the background right here, but you would just go in here and you would delete this. You have to do some cleanup over here. So you're definitely going to want to come in here and make sure that you are paying at close attention to all of the prompting that you have done. Like right here, I need to go with that whole thing right there, but don't delete anything that's good. Just like that. And just keep scrolling up, see when there's any spots that we had continue. And then this is where you're going to be able to have it automatically already uh, in H3 formatting. And this one, for some reason, gave us a number uh, second one right there. So you want to spend five minutes going through this, making sure everything looks good before just publishing it. Right. And then we're going to go and do some testing, um, AI detection testing real quick as well. So you want to stick around for that and just keep going up. So we've got our nice article. We can go up to tools and you can go to word count. And we just wrote a 2200 word article right here in chat. GPT looks really good. Now I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm going to copy it. We're going to go over to originality. We'll leave a link below if you want to go check this out. Uh, I'm going to go over to start new scan over here and I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to take off the check plagiarism because this is just going to double how much it costs and I don't need the plagiarism checked. We're just going to detect AI on this and I'm going to go and um, scan now and you'll see that we got a 10% original score and 90% AI. Um, so you're welcome to actually go through and anything that's in uh, the orange uh, button, uh, orange over here, you could actually go and start rewriting this, right? Um, but it's going to be easier to just probably take this whole thing and go and rewrite it in another software. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, uh, but you can go and actually um, rewrite this in other AI writers um, or other spinners or anything like that to get the content up. No matter how many times you prompt this, um, you know, to use burstiness, to do a write like a human and all that, I just can't pull any numbers higher than about 20 or 30 percent with chat GPT, with multiple testing. I know that uh, people have made content that have shown that, but it doesn't always happen. And you can use the same prompt, uh, you know, multiple times and you'll get multiple different results. But uh, in general, with all the testing I'm doing, chat GPT just, just does, just does not produce original content. It will score very high on AI detection. So you want to make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll teach you different ways that we can still use the power of chat GBT of how amazing it wrote this article, but then go out there and actually rewrite it, uh, make it more human like, 
um, and so forth. So make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this brand new channel and I'll see you in the next video.